So I feel like an idiot because I just carried everything that was already kind of somewhat together in the basement all the way upstairs to my room just so that I could have better lighting. Hey, it's Hannah and today's video is going to be a super exciting one. I know I say that in every single video, but I really mean it today. This is going to be the first video of like my apartment and like moving series. In just a couple weeks, I'm going to be moving into an apartment near my college, but it is a completely unfurnished apartment compared to like other college apartments and everything. So it's also kind of like my first apartment type of stuff, but I'll be living at school type of situation. I will be going into my junior year at school, but the past two years, well obviously last year everything was at home, but my first year I was a commuter student, so this is going to be my first time for all of this. I will have one roommate, my friend Erica. We went to high school together, we are in the same major, and I'm really excited. She's lived on campus and in the campus apartment, so she already has some of the stuff for our apartment. I have a good bit of it though just because I had a little bit more room to store stuff and had to buy more stuff new since I didn't have anything from any previous places. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff to get through and I don't know how long this video is going to take to film and I have no idea how long this video is going to be to watch, but I can't wait any longer. So with that being said, let's get right into the Home Essentials haul. Okay, so most of the stuff for this haul is going to be kitchen related and bathroom related. I have stuff for my bedroom, but I didn't really think that, that this was the video for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video of this stuff because I will be doing a room tour eventually. Right now I just have a huge pile of stuff. I will insert the clip that I took and sent to Antonio before I started filming of all the stuff that I brought upstairs. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with what is right beside me here because my room is not very big so I'm gonna have to like swap out some stuff. So I'm just going to start with the kitchen stuff that is right beside me. So first off we have these Pampered Chef uh, kitchen paring knife. It's a three set. My mom got these for me. Um, these are the ones that we use here and they're really good and I'm very happy that she decided to let me have these. Um, my mom also got me these cutting board mats from Pampered Chef. Here I just have my Pyrex mixing bowl lids in case I wanted to store something like in the fridge and put a lid on it because the mixing bowls that I got from Facebook Marketplace, they have the lips so you can put lids on them. Um, they don't match, but I'd rather have a lid than no lid. Um, I got this pack off of Amazon because it was the cheapest place. Okay, so I apologize if you can hear my neighbor cutting his grass, but this is the only time I have time to film today and the lighting is perfect. And then I got this Cuisinart um, 12 piece knife set. It has a slicing knife, a bread knife, a santoku knife, a utility knife, and a paring knife in here. And I got this off of Best Buy's website. So still continuing in with the smaller kitchen stuff. We got these three whisks from Bad Bath & Beyond. Um, they really don't seem, oh I guess it goes this way, they really don't seem like the best quality but I don't know how often like we'll even use them, but I'd rather have them than not. We also got this little cheese grater. It's really, like, it's, it's small, but I think that it will be perfect. So all of this stuff is from Bed Bath & Beyond right here. Just got a little paper towel holder, and then a pizza cutter. I wish it had like a little lid for it, but it doesn't, unfortunately. And then we got this 10 inch, we got this 10 inch frying pan. It's a stainless steel pan. Um, I have other pots and pans and stuff from Facebook Marketplace, but my mom said to do the stainless because they keep the longest. I'm not sure. So that's just 
the one that we got from there. Since this was on clearance, we just got this really small, um, like, little dustpan and little broom. And we got this drying rack for the dishes. Um, Erica has a mat to sit underneath of it, but something happened with her old one, so we got a new one. So, also from Bed Bath & Beyond, we got these little mini oven mitts. We got this eight pack of kitchen towels. They're like this sage green and white um, and they feel really nice, really, really nice quality. And I didn't realize that there were eight in here. I honestly thought there were only four for $15 and I was ready to get ripped off. But I feel like eight for $15 plus like all the coupons at Bed Bath & Beyond, this is really good because these feel really high quality. That is everything that we got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, we probably are going to go back and get some stuff like containers um, to store stuff in like our cabinets and everything. But since we haven't been there and we don't know like what food and everything we're going to get, um, we haven't done that. Um, Erica already has like a bunch of the utensils like spatulas and spoons and all of that stuff. So that's why I don't have it to show. Um, but she also has, she also has these from Target from the Magnolia um, section um, like for our flour and sugar and like the honey and everything so I'll put a little picture here so I got these off of Facebook marketplace um, I also have another set of Pyrex mixing bowls those ones are like actual mixing bowls and these ones are um, like the mixing bowls that you can put the lids on which is why I already have the lids um, so there are just these raspberry colored um, mixing bowls. Like this color is just so pretty and you can clearly tell that the lids that I got don't match it but that's okay. Facebook Marketplace is like the best place to buy stuff secondhand, I must say. I've had very good, I've had very good luck so far. So I have this little, I want to say this is an 8 inch, 8 inch skillet. This is the Vision cookware which is really good. And it just has the lid to go on it. I have two of these saucepans with lids. And that's all I have in there. But honestly, between two people, I think that that's more than enough. And Erica might already have something. So we got four of these old blue tinted um, Coca-Cola glasses. They're pretty big, um, which is perfect. And then we also got these little um, clear, these are like the perfect size. Um, so we got 10 of those and four of the blue ones and I think that is more than plenty. Um, but yeah, um, we are also planning, we are also planning on getting some more just extra cups, um, these ones specifically from Ikea, but they're currently out of stock, so not sure if they're going to come back into stock or anything like that, but fingers crossed we'll be able to get those as well. Um, so I, <laughs> if you guys couldn't already tell, I do like Pyrex a good bit because I know that it lasts because that's what my grandma's had and now my mom has and everything is still really still kept really nicely and um, I know that it's going to last so I figured instead of just buying something cheap for my first apartment, my first, you know, a college apartment, I want something that will last. We also, I'm also getting my grandparents old dishes. Um, they are the Corningware Spring Blossom. I have them all boxed up downstairs and it's a lot and it was <laughs> way too heavy and I didn't want to mess with it. Um, but I will put a picture here of what it looks like. So we have, I think I have two sets of it honestly. So big plate, like big plates, um, medium plates, saucer plates, bowls of two different sizes, and then all of their silverware. So we are set on that front. And thank God because dishes are really expensive for good ones. So I got this 14, this one's the 14 piece set. Yeah, so I got this 14-piece Pyrex container set. It has one 6-cup rectangle container, one 3-cup rectangle container, one 4-cup round container, two 2-cup two round containers, and then two 1-cup one 1-cup one round containers, all with lids. 
so I know this is these are the types of containers that we use at my house now so I know what fits in what and I always am using them taking these in my lunch and everything like that I definitely probably went overkill on the containers but that's okay because I also got this 24 piece set so this one has oh geez this is so heavy this one has one six cup um, rectangle one two three cup rectangle ones two four cup round ones three two cup round ones and then four little one cups so there's definitely a lot definitely a lot in here all come with their matching lids and everything like that but then i got three additional three cup rectangle ones um that match the set um just because i want to start meal prepping and um take these to work with me um for my lunches because that's what i do now and what i really really like about the pyrex is that they're microwave safe freezer safe um dishwasher safe these are still pyrex but they're not necessarily containers these ones are two baking dishes basically with lids for easy storage so i got all of those i got all of those at walmart while we were at walmart we got i got two measuring cups one is a two cup measuring liquid measuring cup and then this one is a one cup i didn't see a need for two of them but my mom was like sometimes it's just easier to just use the one cup so that's probably true so that is what we did and then i also got these farberware um, measuring spoons that was everything from walmart but while we were out by walmart we ran to sam's club and got a two pack of these quarter pan size um, baking sheets and then two half size baking sheets and i think that is going to be more than enough but the price was right and you know in case like one's dirty or something like that it makes it makes life convenient you know and i was very kindly gifted some stuff so let's take a look at that now okay this box is big but i know I don't have any room to set this down. I wish you could see. Yeah, so let me let me show you what the situation looks like right now. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll put that on the screen. All of that. And then that's where my pots and pans came from containers that I have yet to show and then this hamper is full of stuff as well got that I have this huge box right here um, and holy crap I didn't realize how much stuff was here I still have a bag outside of my room and um, other stuff in my basement still so <laughs> okay so this stuff is from Antonio's mom. There are six, six kitchen tiles in here, just of like a bunch of different patterns. And then these ones are like Valentine's Day, like little hearts. Um, and she also got us some measuring cups. And I know that Erica already has measuring cups and then Erica's mom bought measuring cups. So we have three sets of measuring cups for two people. In this box I have two different size colanders one's yellow and one's orange for like pasta and everything so yeah that was what's in this box so that's pretty much all of the big stuff okay and then a couple days ago we went to home goods and Marshall's and then TJ Maxx so this is from home goods and it's just this it could be used as like a spice rack or I think since we don't have any um like pantry space we're gonna put these in the cabinets and possibly put like cans of soup or like pasta sauce or something like that just so that it's visible and we're able to see it so then we also got this actual little spice rack because 
there's just two of us we're not gonna be doing anything super crazy so I think that this will fit everything that we're looking for perfectly and this was from home goods as well and then what I'm most excited for I don't even really bake like ever really um, but I'm so excited for this muffin tin it comes with the actual tin itself and then it has these um, silicone cupcake cupcake muffin liners um, and I'm so excited we got this all-purpose organizer bin for um, either the fridge or the pantry or well the fridge or the cupboards or something like that probably the fridge and then we got this fridge slash freezer bin also from home goods like I said we don't know what food we're gonna have or anything like space wise so not sure if this will just be like a separator or you know how that goes but yeah we also got an espresso um, machine so I'll put a picture of that one here Erica currently has that because she's figuring it out before we get there um, I have a an espresso pod um, organizer coming from Amazon today I'll link I will link all of this stuff down below um, but I will put a picture of that as well and I already have a mini Keurig so we got this um, Keurig carousel and it holds 49 pods which I couldn't believe and I honestly thought that the drawers were gonna have more storage than this but it doesn't so we will have two big <laughs> we'll have two coffee machines and two things of pods and I don't know I'm really really excited for the way that all of that is gonna come together okay so I apologize if the the lighting's definitely changed. Um, it's about to storm, so <laughs> let me try and get through this, through the rest of this, before it starts thundering. So basically, just about everything now is going to be like bathroom and other stuff. Sticking with home goods, I got this clothing steamer. I use one now. I've never used an ironing board, and I know that these. Um, these work really well and the one that we have at my house now we got from TJ Maxx so definitely definitely gonna need this I didn't show you guys the rug that we got so I'll put a picture of it here we got it from rugs.com it came super quick and it looks exactly like the picture online um, I'll link that down below as well um, but they wanted to put like a mat underneath of it which makes sense we were planning on getting it but it was like $50 on their website Rug mat, 17 bucks from Home Goods. So that's everything from Home Goods. Most of the stuff we got there was the kitchen stuff they've already seen. And then we went to TJ Maxx and got some stuff for the bathroom. So first off, we got this, got this cotton pad organizer. And what's so great about this is that like you can just grab it out of the side instead of like having to take like the lid off. And then we got this, it's just this apothecary jar by the same company um, for cotton balls because I use, I use the cotton balls. Um, we already have a toothbrush holder. Um, we got that off of Target, so if I can find, and Erica has it, so if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it here. If I can find the link for it, I'll link it down below. Then we got these two, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them apart. genius got these two under cabinet like storage bins for underneath our bathroom sink um we'll just each claim a basket i think that's how we're planning on this but who knows things might change once we actually get there i have we got two of these basically basically it just goes in the bathroom like that like in the yeah so we just got two of these one for each of us um, Erica already has one bath mat, but we saw this one at Bed Bath & Beyond and couldn't pass it up. It's just like this white circle and it has like the little tassels on it and it's just so cute. So I think that this one might go by the sink and the other one might go by the bathtub. We'll see. But then I have my hamper 
from Target, um, but like from years ago. It's their Room Essentials brand. So these are from Kohl's. Um, we have some washcloths, hand towels, six uh, gray bath towels, and I think that will be perfect for the two of us. And I know Erica already has a couple, but there's no harm in having too many, so yeah. And then I also just got an extra set of sheets. These were literally on sale for $10 on Target's website, and these are the best sheets ever. So definitely recommend these. And then I guess this is just about it. I have two more things. I just got this hair dryer. Just picked this up yesterday. And I got this Chi straightener as well since I don't have one of my own. So yeah, this has definitely been a long video, a much bigger haul than I thought, but I definitely feel like we're pretty well off with all the stuff that we have. I still need to go to Ikea and everything to get a couple little organizers and everything like that just because it'll be cheap there, but yeah, so that is everything for this video. This is the first video in my little moving series, and I'm just so excited for all of it, so... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more.